Just yesterday, it seems like everyone was talking about Apple. Remember all of those blogs that made their living off of sleuthing and guessing how many millimeters would be shaved off the next iPhone, what the Apple tablet was going to look like, and all of the disruption Apple TV was going to make? Well, those days have changed. Apple's stock has fallen into the $300 range, as Android has cannibalized the innovation. Now we know better than ever why Steve Jobs tried so hard to keep his secrets. Well, today, it's all about Google. Search engine, email, incredible doodles. Does it get any more exciting than this? Mapping the crap out of everything, cars that drive themselves, futuristic eyewear, and now, balloons. A new effort being tested in New Zealand called Project Loon is a network of polyethylene plastic balloons, each 15 meters in diameter, deployed into the stratosphere 20 kilometers above Earth, about twice as high as planes fly. The intent is to provide internet access to places currently without it, which includes almost 100% of the stratosphere and about 66% of the world's population. Though you can imagine the big business behind providing internet service to everyone, Google is also interested in alternative humanitarian usage, such as providing free service to areas that are suffering disasters. That sounds all sorts of awesome and huge, but how would it work? In its current iteration, people will receive the internet at speeds comparable to 3G via special antennas that receive signals that bounce from balloon to balloon, then back to the internet here on Earth. And then Google, from their version of mission control, can control the balloon's location and altitude to obtain better connectivity and catch a ride with the winds. This is a Google X project from a top secret facility where super smart people let their freak flags fly, located just down the road from Google headquarters. Google describes these types of projects as moonshots, they're the combination of a huge problem, a radical solution, and the breakthrough technology that might just make the solution possible. Is it doable? Google seems pretty confident. Another example of high-altitude balloons in action are those launched by Space Data Corp. These provide connectivity between truckers and oil companies, a company Google was rumored to be interested in working with as far back as 2008. But despite contemporary balloon technology, nothing has been done on the scale of what Google is looking to do. And there will be some obstacles, like governments. And depending on how exactly Google plans to beam it down, there could be issues with the spectrum. Also, while Wi-Fi is unlicensed, it could involve range issues. Furthermore, Google needs to convince countries to agree on a specific bandwidth. And balloons aren't particularly bothered by things like, I don't know, international borders? And some countries are very protective of their airspace. Though it could help Google that tens of thousands of weather balloons are launched annually, so there could be some precedents that they can use to get necessary approvals. During a Huffington Post panel on Project Loon, Jillian York from the Electronic Frontier Foundation asked the interesting question, quote, how long before some unstable government seeking to wreak havoc on its world's communications infrastructure starts shooting down loon balloons overhead? That's a fair point. Because as you can imagine, it might be in the best interest of other governments to invest in balloons to provide internet access to their allies. For example, Obama could send balloons to those Syrians rising up against the Assad regime. In the spirit of Tesla and Edison and that guy who created the Swiffer, Google is going for it. And it may seem a little wacky, but just imagine the possibilities and the potential to make this world a little bit smaller. From New York City, where nearly 5 million people go every day on subways without internet access, I'm Kegan, and this is Rockaboom.